Many Santa Maria parks are looking a little different these days thanks to a wave of recent construction. And Dave Alley is live in Santa Maria to show us some of the changes and what park goers can expect in the future. Dave? A lot of changes, Beth and CJ. Now there are 31 parks located all throughout the city of Santa Maria, including this one right here, the Hagerman Sports Complex. A lot of these facilities have been very, very active all uh, throughout the year, not just with people coming out and using them for recreation as intended, but also with construction workers who have been very busy building all sorts of new enhancements. Donna Blair and her husband enjoy a morning stroll on a new walking trail at Presker Park. I love it. It's close to my home. I feel safe walking on it. I don't have to worry about cars behind me and the nature. It's like a nature walk. The recently completed walkway is just one of several new improvements happening at many of Santa Maria's recreational facilities. A lot of new renovations, a lot of new upgrades, and just a lot going on getting ready for our busy summer season. On Monday, construction began at Pioneer Park, where a new inclusive playground is going in. It really gives uh, kids an option who may have mobility issues to get out and play just like everybody else. Construction here at Pioneer Park should take a couple of weeks. When completed, Santa Maria will become the city with the most ADA accessible playgrounds in Santa Barbara County. Definitely leading uh, the way in making sure that we can include our entire population to just get out and play and have fun and enjoy our 31 parks. The newly modernized and renamed Machado Plaza is all set to open in June. And soon, a complete overhaul of Veterans Memorial Park will begin. It's going to pretty much take it down to the studs, and we're going to start um, with bare dirt and just build our way back up with new playgrounds and other great features. In total, the city is all set to spend between 10 to $15 million upgrading parks over the next couple of years. I think it's wonderful. You know, I think it's much needed. People need to get back in shape and enjoy nature, and I appreciate it. A bunch of other improvements are on tap to, to be completed or already have been completed. There's about five dozen in the current fiscal year uh, that have been, uh, have been scheduled. Now, the city says that all these changes are the result of increased park usage they've seen over the last couple of years and also through a lot of suggestions as well the community has made through the uh, most recently completed leisure needs assessment. Reporting live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley. All right, and certainly a beautiful setting behind you. Thank you for that, Dave.